Hello, you are welcome to Genius Kiddies channel, an educative channel where you will watch educative content that would help your children mathematical skill. Okay, please, as you watch this video, try as much as possible to subscribe. Please like and share with others so everyone can benefit. So today, we'll be going into a topic called algebra. Algebra. We'll be solving some simple equations. I, as you can see my board, I have some equations already on the board, which we'll be working with. So, let's get to it. How do we solve all this? Uh, let's go start from here. Solution from number one. 12y equals to 108. How do we get this solved? In equation, you, we are looking for the value of y. Something is just missing. A number is missing and we need to find it. 12 times a particular number gives us 108. We, we didn't know the number, so we represented the number by y. So now how do we get y? In this particular one, the very simple, simplest part is to divide both sides by the coefficient of y. The number beside y, to eliminate the number beside y, you have to divide this side of the equation by 12. And you also divide this by 12. The moment you do that, y will simply be alone. So we have y equal to 108 divided by 12. So when we have 108 divided by 12, we can find what is y. If you know your multiplication table, y is going to be 12 years 1. 12 year 9. So my answer is simply 9. You can always check 12 times 9 will give you 108. You've been able to solve that particular question. The number 2 is also like that. 9y equals to 54. Like we did the very first one, divide both sides by the coefficient of y. So we divide it by 9. We divide it by 9. 9 will cancel 9. Then we have y equals to 54 divided by 9. That's going to be 6. So that is on that. Then we move to something else. It's still on looking for a missing number. The third example, we have 6y plus 15 equals to 45. Now, it's, it's a bit longer than this one, and it has rules. As, as we did the first two, it's still going to be that we are looking for y. And why looking for y, what do we do? The first thing is to collect like terms. Collect like terms It means, it means that we are bringing same thing together. Now, the family of y will stay alone. So we have 6y equal to this 15 will go to this other side to meet its own family. So we have 45. And this is plus 15. The movement is crossing over this equal to sign to meet this. The sign will change from positive to negative. So it's going to be minus 15 because it's crossing over this. So if you get that, then we can now continue. 6y equals to 45 minus 15, that's 30. You are here. What do we do next? We divide both sides by the coefficient of y. Now let's divide. 6 is cancelling 6. We are left with y, 30 divided by 6, that's 5. Then let's do another one like it. Number 4. We have 4y plus 13 
equals to 33. So we have, just like the way we did, we collect like terms, which is going to be 4y equals to 33. This is plus 13. It's crossing over to meet the family minus 13. So 4y is going to be 20. So if it's 20, we are going to divide both sides by the coefficient of y. So 4 cancel 4. We are left with y equals to 20 divided by 4. That is 5. You can see that we are getting the value for what? For y. So we go to, to number 5, which is 8y minus 13 equals to 27. 8y minus 13 equals 27. You are looking for y. Now you will see the other side. 8y, y collecting like terms. Then we have 27. This is minus 13. The moment it crosses over to this side, it will turn to plus. So it will be 12, to be plus 13. So we now have 8y equals to 27 plus 13, that's 40. Then we divide both sides by the coefficient of y. 8 is cancelling 8, we are left with y. 40 divided by 8, we are left with 5 can see that it's becoming simpler and simpler. Now another example like it. We have 6y minus 12 equals to 60. Now we can now do what? Collect like terms. Just like we've been doing. We are bringing the same family together. 6y is here. It's equal to 60. This minus 12 is going over to that place. So it's going to be what? Plus 12. So the moment you get that, we have 6y, 60 plus 12, that is what? 72. Now, we divide both sides by the coefficient of y. Both sides. Whatever you do to this side must be done here. So we have, we have 6 is cancelling 6. 72 divided by 6, that is 12. So that means our y is 12. Now, we continue. We have another set of examples. Now, it's becoming a little bit, but it's very easy. 5 into brackets, k plus 2 equals to 45. Now, we have some question in the brackets. And you remember your board math. You just have to bring out, as in solve the, the brackets que uh, question first, es expand it, take it out of brackets before you start solving. So this is what we do. This number that is outside this bracket is multiplying. It's multiplying all the number in this bracket. So what you do is you will multiply out one after the other. Five times K, five K. Plus, this sign is plus. 5 times 2, that is 10. You are using this 5 to expand this. So, you are removing the brackets. 5 times k, 5k. 5 times 2, 10. Because it's a plus sign, that's why we are having plus here. Then, everything equal to 45. We are looking for k. The moment we get here, we are back to what it used to be here. So we can say 5k equals to 45 minus, you remember when it's crossing over, it is going to turn to minus, minus 10. So we can say 5k equals 35. Divide both sides by the coefficient of k. This is cancelling this. k equals to 35 divided by 5, that is 7. I hope that's simple enough and clear. Now I go to a new question. We have 20 equals 
5 into bracket s minus 3. Now, we have the bracket again. Then, just like the way we did this, we will go with this like that. We say 20 equal to 5 times s, 5s, minus 5 times 3, 15. So, what do we do? We are looking for s. So, we can either allow this to come here or we bring this here. But I choose to bring this here. So, we have 20. This is minus 15. It's coming over to this place. It's going to be plus 15 equal to 5s. So, we have 20 plus 15, 35 equals to 5s. Now, what do we do? Divide both sides by the coefficient of s. 5 is cancelling 5. 5 year 1, 5 year 7. 7 equals to what? S. 7 equals to S. If you are enjoying this video, do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. It's important that you do this so that others can benefit. Alright, as we go to the last lap, we have B raised to power 2 equals to 100. Mathematically, we are saying a number raised to power 2 gives us a 100. And what do we do when we have cases like this? Just square both sides. Square both sides. B raised to power 2 is 100. Square both sides. So, these two will cancel this square root. We will be left with B. And square root of 100 is 10. So, that is just the way that is done. The very last question I have on the board, half n plus 1 equal to 8. Now, collect like terms. Bring family together. Half n equal to 8 is plus 1 is going this way, minus 1. So we have half n equals to 8 minus 1, 7. So you divide both sides by the coefficient of n. Now, this is going to be divided by this. This is cancelling this. So, n is equal to 7 divided by half. Turn it to the right way. 7 divided by 1 over 2. Then turn it around. 7 multiplied by 2 over 1. So n is equal to 7 times 2, we have 14. Here, when we are talking about division, when we are dividing um, a number by the fraction, a whole number by fraction, the moment we are multiplying, we are changing this division to multiplication, then we will have a reciprocal. The, num the denominator will go up, while the numerator will come down. That's what happened here. Don't think, oh, what did she do here? This, that's what I did. I only followed the rule. So, now I do not have 1 over 2. I have 2 over 1. So, at that point, I can say 7 times 2, 14. Of course, one, 14 over 1 is still 14. As I wrap up this video, try to subscribe, to share, and like this video. Because I know, I can assure you that you will always get content that would improve your children's mathematical skill. Thank you.